In this video, I will explain how the A star algorithm works. The A star algorithm is a search method that aims to find the shortest path from a start node S to a target node Z in a graph. It is often used in video games, for example, to program intelligent opponents that chase the player. A star attempts to be more efficient than similar algorithms, such as Dijkstra's algorithm, by using a heuristic method for the search direction. We will apply the algorithm to this graph here. Our goal is to find the shortest or cheapest path from the start node S to the destination node Z. This function plays an important role here. G of n describes the cost of the path from the start node to the current node n. These are the actual costs of getting from the starting point to n. This value is calculated by adding all the blue values on the path from the start node to the current node. H of n are the estimated costs from the current node n to the destination node. This function is a heuristic used to estimate the probable cost from n to the destination. The accuracy and effectiveness of A star are highly dependent on this heuristic. The heuristic, that means the estimated values, are given in this table. F of n is the sum of the costs of the path from the start node to the current node n and the estimated costs from the current node n to the target node. Okay, we will now take a practical look at how the A star works. We start at the start node S. Our goal is to find the shortest path from S to Z. Short means that the value of f of n is as small as possible. From S we can reach A and Z. We first calculate f of n for the path from S to A. To do this we take the costs on the path, in this case 1, and add the estimated cost from A to the destination, which we can see in the table here. In this case the value is 3. The result is 4 that we will note down in front of the path. Now we calculate f of n for the path from S to Z. To do this we add the costs of the path which is 15 and add the estimated cost from Z to the destination which we can see in the table here. Logically this is 0 as Z is already the destination node. The result is 15 which we also note here. Now it's time for your first decision. Which of the two routes to the destination is currently more favorable? Well, of course, the path from S to A, since 4 is less than 15. Although we could theoretically already be at our destination, the algorithm searches for a more favorable path. We set this path here to visited and this path here to temp. Temp means that we will look at this path again later, because it could be that there is no better route from S to Z than the direct route with a cost of 15. From A we can reach B and C. We first calculate f of n for the path from S to A to B. We calculate 1 plus 2 and get 3. Then we add the estimated cost from B to the destination. In this case this is 4. The result is 7 which we note down again in front of this path. Now we calculate f of n for the path from s to a to z. To do this we calculate 1 plus 1 and get 2. We then add the estimated cost from c to the destination. In this case the value is 1. The result is 3 which we also note down again in front of this path. Now let's take a look at which of the paths, including the temp paths, has the lowest costs. In this case it is the path from S to A to C. That means we set this to visited. The path S to A to B is added to the temp list. From C we can reach D and Z. We first calculate f of n for the path from S to A to C to D. To do this we calculate 1 plus 1 plus 3 and get 5. Then we add the estimated cost from D to the destination. In this case the value is 5. The result is 10 which we also note down again in front of the path. 
Now we calculate f of n for the path from s to a to c to z. To do this we calculate 1 plus 1 plus 3 and get 5 again. We then add the estimated cost from z to the destination. Since z is already the destination, these costs are logically 0. The result is 5, which we note down again in front of the path. Now it's time for the final decision. Which of the paths, including the temp paths, has the lowest costs? In this case, it is the path from S to A to C to Z. That means we set this to visit it. The path S to A to C to D is added to the temp list. Our algorithm terminates at this point because we have reached the destination, have checked all paths at least once and S to A to C to Z is the path with the lowest costs. The total cost is 5 which is already much better than the 15 from the beginning. If you have any further questions, please feel free to post them in the comments down below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.